Well, thank you very much. Let me start by saying, on behalf of the entire Business USA team, what an honor it is to be here today with such esteemed company, so many wonderful projects. We really, really enjoyed um, learning about all the submittals, and I think we got some great new ideas for our next wave of innovation. <laughs> Do I control the? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Great. So. Business USA, at its essence, is about providing easier access to government resources and providing outstanding customer service. Uh, we were created by a presidential memorandum in October of 2011, and the president was kind enough to give us an entire 90 days to stand up the initial uh, Business USA website. It was a, a bit of a heavy lift, but once we got over that hurdle, it's been uh, continuing innovation since then. We are co-managed by the U.S. Department of Commerce and the Small Business Administration, but we're really a network of 24 uh, federal departments and agencies. And we, we strive to provide a single point of access to all the federal, state, and local programs, products, resources, tools uh, that can assist an entrepreneur or a business. So while we were created through a presidential memorandum, I think Business USA has a very wide scope and has cross-cutting authorities uh, that relate very well and align with several other administration executive orders and initiatives. Most notably, um, Executive Order 13571, which calls for federal agencies to look at improving their customer service delivery through the innovative use of technology. It was a home run that they pitched right down the middle. Uh, so we we're very excited to be supporting both the Department of Commerce and the Small Business Administration's uh, plans related to improving customer service through the Business USA initiative. Likewise, um, everything we do is aligned very closely with the federal digital strategy. Um, we've been an innovator in the use of APIs to offer up content and information, and we're continuing to closely align with the direction of the, of the federal digital strategy. Business USA was created, first and foremost, to assist small businesses and exporters, so therefore we mentioned the, the presidential memorandum supporting um, interagency collaboration on exporting as well. So how do we stand up on the matrices uh, that were the uh, requirements for being here today? Well, in terms of risk and novelty, we are really designed with the customer in mind. And I think that's a little unusual sometimes in the federal government, where quite often we focus strictly on the delivery of our programs and services out to a very defined channel of customers. Business USA is very broad in scope, and it's designed around the customer's needs. So for example, we don't organize our content around the agency or resource provider. Rather, we organize it around the business need that we're trying to serve or a very specialized um, need that a business has or the maturity level of that business. So we've bucketed the resources in a way that they're very accessible uh, to the business community. <laughs> What's that? Thank you. Um, in terms of collaboration and engagement, the reason Business USA works is because of the partnership. I mentioned the 24 departments and agencies. Indeed, it's even broader than that because it includes all the sub-operating units that fall under those agencies. So Commerce has 12 bureaus, for example, all of which are represented within Business USA. And that collaboration goes beyond the public sector to include the private sector. We wouldn't be here today without our private sector partners and, and our most appreciative of all their assistance. In terms of efficiency and effectiveness, we make it easier for the customer and we make it more effective for the agency. So we streamline the customer's access and we get the agencies the right customers that m meet their needs without them having to triage and sending people to other resources that they may not be able to help with. Finally, in terms of scalability, we're just getting started. Uh, the idea was to build out Business USA in the business assistance space and perhaps apply it to other areas as well. So at its core, we're about easy access to government resources. And we've offered a variety of different channels for people to reach us through the web, through a contact center, through email. We're piloting chat, the use of social media as a customer response mechanism. We aspire to be really fully build this out and provide all channels of customer service. So in sum, let me just say thank you very much, and I hope you vote for Business USA.
Dennis, thank you very much. I'm going to ask for some comments from the judges. What do you think about Business USA? Excellent. I, um, you know, I understand this is going on my USA here when that's up and running, and that, that'll be wonderful to see all that. It's collaborative. It, you know, they did it quickly. It's got speed. Uh, I also thought, you know, it, it speaks to open government. The paper that just came out, my wife's in small business, she'll be online tonight. Right. So sing, single sign-on and reusable yeah. code were a couple of the aspects that jumped out at me as well. Dave? Yeah, I think I'm a huge fan of uh, this USA. Um, it really shows the power of open APIs. It shows the power of scaling things, doing beta, and then rolling out iterative versions. Uh, it's all about simplifying the customer experience with government, which is what we're really uh, focused on right now. Um, and look, 24 agencies have come together to build something. That's pretty unique in the government space. 